What's going on, cupcakes? My little snossages? So, I know I already made a video today, but when I got parked here at the Flying J, I had to show this because I was worried about being comfortable, making sure I had everything. I think I'm surprised I, I didn't remember to bring Cat and the dogs. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you just a quick roundabout tour, not explaining everything. But I already had to pick up a bunch of this shit because the bungee cords didn't hold some of it. And I'll show you that. And don't judge me. Don't do it. Some things in here that might be judgeable. But don't do it. Alright, Dan. Check this out. Well, first, let's get you turned around. Oh, shit. I can't do that like this. Oh, well. I'll just turn you this way, then. Okay. Let's see what we got. Alright, so, start off. Let's start all the way in the back. See if you guys see it. Okay. So, you guys are still seeing. Yeah. I'm going to sit down. We're going to do it this way. Okay. Behind me. I've got rows of shelves, like so. I've got backpacks. I've got a shower backpack, a just going to the bathroom backpack so I can have my little disinfectant wipes because you see some of these truckers coming out of these shitters and you got to stand there and wait for one to come out and then you got to go right in there. I don't want to go in and sit down on his ass warm seat. So I'm going to put a little disinfectant wipe on it and be comfortable. God damn Anyways, so... These two over here decided to take a lump, jumping leap uh, during the trip. So I had to put them back, fix the bungee cord. I think that's going to work better. Got my five gallons of water, my backpacks, my shower packs, my, my cooking pan, more. Uh, let's see, do this. These two right here are primarily my uh, straps and my uh, uh, easy Easy strips, e strips, hooks, things. I don't know all the lingo yet, okay? Don't judge. Um, and then, of course, first kit, first, first, first kit, first aid kit, keyboard that I just put there for now, stuff like that. Then we come around, there's the door, there's, there's my new baby. There she is. Can you see her? She's here. My Honda generator. We got my butane stove. Oh, yeah stove my trashy can my body pillow what okay don't judge what you sleep with I'm sure as hell not judging what half of your wives sleep with that's disturbing I've seen you guys <sighs> you know, that could have come out wrong if you didn't understand that but what I'm saying is they sleep with you and he's nasty he's ugly he's ugly anywho then I got my folding table chair, table chair, right there. Then we go up front, and then you got the curtains. Those two close when I drive. Uh, keeps the AC in the front a lot easier. Uh, doesn't have to try and cool down this whole thing. Whole thing. That's, that's, that. You know, the problem is there's too much blood in my alcohol system. I'm not drinking when I'm out here, and this sucks. Okay, then on this side, let's see, starting the back. There's all my hanging clothes. My shirts, my pants, my stuff like that. They're just hung up there on a couple gate handles. And then a bungee cord holding them up against the wall so they don't swing on out. And I got these uh, little shoe shelves or whatever. But they hold a lot of stuff. They work out real well. I've got my oil pan. Because when you're out here doing, hopefully, two, three, four thousand miles a week, i got to do my oil changes in parking lots. So, fortunately, AutoZone takes back their oil for free, so I'm just going to be parking at AutoZone parking lots. And once I empty my oil, I take it in there and empty it again for them. And uh, that'll get that done. But you'll see that in videos coming down the line. Back to this. Uh, then I got my, my cutting board, my paper plates, all my disinfectant stuff, and make, my, make it smell like I actually try and clean my ass in here. My TV, uh, it's on a swinger thing. It's, <laughs> I got a swinger out on the road. <laughs> Paper towels, uh, that's, if, just in case you can't count, that's three of those things. They hold a lot of shit. Um, then behind that, I've got my toolbox. I've got all my main food, my canned foods, all my canned stuff, canned meat. 
protein, your rasseronis, all that stuff. Some more drinking stuff. My coffee pot. My oven. My little 12 volt cooking oven. I've made a lot of cool stuff in that. And I'll, I'll show you guys that in uh, some videos coming up. I got my TV tray so I can do some working and editing and watching my laptop but then i have that so i don't know but the porn will be somewhere i mean the educational videos cut then my fancy schmancy ass had to have a air conditioner so that's why i spent a thousand dollars on a generator to run that 300 dollar air conditioner when i parked and now i'm parked and running the van for the ac but just because of where i'm at then there is my bed right next to it that's a three inch trifold mattress really comfortable i slept on that thing the last time i took the denali all the way back to tennessee for prepper stock and a few other trips it's awesome then my blanket above that another blanket my pillow and the back of my seat now let's go check out the front i gotta learn to do this shuffle better i need a high top that'd be cool all right and then up here we got my fridge I don't know how much light you guys are going to have, so I brought this. Got my, let's see here, my fridge, little drawer system up here, so I put my receipts in the top, uh, pins and stuff and all that. And yes, I do have normally these little hook things that sit here and bungee cords, hold them all down. Then in my fridge, I've got all my frozen meats and salmon patties and stuff like that. And yeah, check it out. No beer anywhere. How crazy is that? Nuts! Insane! Here we got my batteries. A bunch of junk all around them. My 2,000 watt inverter. My red vines. Oh, uh, my dietary aids, I mean. And then uh, just all my other junk over here. And obviously priorities of life. <laughs> so there you go. My fine feather pink. Fine feathered friend, I can't talk without beer. What is going on with this system? And they got 12 packs and everything right inside. And you guys on Zoo Zello, you some bad influences tell me it's okay. You you you're sleeping. Go get your 12 pack. I said, see, my wife will be watching these things, and she will beat my ass. Because I will inadvertently leave one of them damn cans while I'm sipping on it and making a video. And she'll bust me. Then I won't be able to come out and play no more. Or I won't be allowed back home no more. Either way, there's my quick, quick little tour. And I'll do it more in detail explaining stuff like ventilation, uh, the floor, the, the way I do loads. Basically, you're going to learn right along with me. Because... I've done almost 400 miles today and I haven't even gotten paid for a penny. Paid for a penny. I haven't even gotten paid for a single mile. But I gotta get to where the loads are. Missed out on a couple good ones. There was one that was very possible going from Nogales to Detroit. That would have been a killer, killer run. Uh, shorty, but I couldn't have gotten to El Paso in time. But had I not done that 105 mile detour i would have gotten to el paso on time and i could have gotten a quick one from el paso to louisville texas about a 650 mile uh trip decent gets me moving gets 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 some cash in my wife's pocket anywho i'm gonna jump off here i'm gonna make me a gourmet smoked ham and craft macaroni and cheese dinner i'll talk to y'all later see you